Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we have the invasion event, so I got a high level team and a low level team for you. So this event's usually pretty easy. They give you the troop that is going to be able to wipe out the towers easily. You can get multiples of them. If you don't have anything else, you could just use multiples. So it's not that hard. It's one of the easiest guild events in the game. It probably is the easiest guild event in the game. So not trying to insult your intelligence here by putting out a video, but hey, you know, maybe you'd want my uh, input on it. All right, so here's the low-level team. I got the Mystic Manuscript. It might be kind of an older weapon. I'm not sure if you can get it this week or not. You might want to check the Soul Forge. Um, it depends if it's a weapon from this kingdom for the week, whatever week it is, whatever kingdom week it is. But if you don't have that, you can use whatever. Remember, the weapon isn't that big of a deal. It's just the best weapon that fit that I had. So Mystic Manuscript is the weapon to get everybody else up. We have it in first slot so it can get green and brown. It can get up quicker so it can get everybody else up quicker. If you put it anywhere else, maybe do that later so you can summon with it. But it's one of those explodey. It blows up like purple. It gives a positive status effect to mystic, which are the restriction is mystic. So most of our stuff uses purple. We got hex rat in second slot. We got the tower killer in third slot. We got harpy mage in last slot. So we got a mana generating sandwich, basically. Mystic manuscript and harpy mage are sandwiching in the hex rat and the tower killer uh so hex rat does good work early you might switch it out for something else later uh you have that ariamis troop it's the other tower killer somebody's gonna think they're smart by doing that one but it kind of like the coloration of it it depends i guess it depends it's not like the answer to every question you know like it's green and purple our tower killer that we have that's doing double damage giving double points already uses purple and then the mystic manuscript already uses green so you maybe maybe but i didn't put it on my team but if you don't have the hex rat which it's really easy to get it's an underworld troop but it could start falling off later right now it's one shotting killing everything in one hit and i don't even need the tower killer but this is super early so you might switch out that hex rat for either another of the current tower killer or maybe ariamas Switch your team around a little bit, use a different weapon or something like that. But I like some sort of mana generating weapon with a tower, with the tower killer, with Harpy Mage on the bottom. Harpy Mage with the Brown Storm, second turn empowered. You have it fully traded. You have it swift, so it's in last slot because it's going to get up on second turn no matter what because it gets two mana a turn. Plus it uses yellow, which nothing else uses yellow. It's going to get up quickly no matter where it is, so that's why it's in last slot. Sometimes you'll see teams using the same truce, but they'll have them all in different orders. I have mine in this order for a specific reason, so we're not mana blocking, so things get mana quicker that are supposed to. Mana flows from top to bottom, so yeah. Mystic Manuscript, Hex Rat, Tower Killer, Bide in the Shop. You know, you have to use it or you're not going to get as many points as you should. And does it does like double damage, kills towers easy. It does put skulls on the board, maybe you can put it in the top slot eventually. But right now for the early fights, I'm doing this. Mystic Manuscript, Hex Rat, Lady of Ruin, Harpy Mage, Titan Class, Brown Storms all over the place. Our damage dealers use brown. All right, here's the high level team slash mid level team. There wasn't anything like that was mythic that was better than Queen Beatrix, so I only went with one team for this. Sometimes I'll do three teams. This time it wasn't, no, I didn't want to make more teams when I didn't, like nothing's going to be better than this. So we got Queen Beatrix, Wand of Stars, uh, Lady of Ruin, and Harpy Mage. So once again, I like the Harpy Mage. Harpy Mage is best when you can use potions. So you got your Enchant Potion, your Explode Potion, because she works just like a Leprechaun. And you know you see Leprechaun everywhere in the game because it's, it's up immediately, it's empowered, it blows up the entire board, it gets the whole team going fast. So Harpy Mage does the same exact thing when you have Enchant Potion and Explode Potion. So we got Queen Beatrix, Wand of Stars, Lady of Ruin, Harpy Mage. So early on, your Queen Beatrix is going to be doing most of the work. It's going to do true damage to all enemies. you got a cleanse. you got two cleanses, really. Um, and she can loop, because we have like a brown and a green storm. She makes brown and green. Then we have the Lady of Ruin for when we need to hit a tower, finish off a tower, tower or maybe later on or something like that. But um, yeah, once again, in this order, for a reason, you know, Queen Beatrix, we want her to get up first. So we're not going to block her with the wand. We're not going to block her with anything. We're just going to throw her up in top slot. Then the wand can catch four 
other colors. It's in second slot, so I can catch everything but green and blue. And then Lady of Ruin just one-shotting towers. We don't. It doesn't need to get up till we already shoot off our uh, Queen Beatrix most likely, so it's fine in third slot there. And then Harpy Mage, like I said, with the first team, second turn in power. It will get up on second turn no matter what because of the enchant potion that you're going to buy in the shop, which you should buy up to the weapon at least, right? And then you got to ask yourself, do you want to spend blue orbs or do you want to spend gems? It depends with this uh, tower killer here. Um, as far as like fully ascending it, you know, how many copies are you going to get? Do you want extra copies? Do you want to use orbs to ascend it? Or do you want to buy extra copies and ascend it? Or do you want extra copies so you're going to ascend it with orbs? That way you have extra copies so you don't have to use those copies to ascend it. Like there's a bunch of, it depends who you are and, and how many gems you got, how many blue orbs you got. I just think about my new account with that first team there. I know I have Hexrat. I'm going to get the, the tower killer. I, I have, I think I have them, if I don't have the Mystic Manuscript, I would use like Essence of Evil or something or Mountain Crusher or something like that. It'd be no big deal. And I know I have Harpy Mage, so that that's why I did that low level team for the first team. And then this team right here, everybody has Queen Beatrix. Most people have the wand. I did a poll and like 80% of the people had the wand and I'm sure it's even higher now. Everybody's going to use the Invasion Troop because you get more points. And then Harpy Mage is just, anytime you can't use Leprechaun, if you can use Harpy Mage and you have an enchant and an explode potion, it's just as good as Leprechaun, and you see it everywhere. Plus it's making a brown storm, you know, I don't know, brown and green storms going off all over the place, getting everybody up, making Beatrix loop better. So that's what I would do. I would do this. Uh, Queen Beatrix is your best option. You have to use the Tower Killer. Wand is one of the best weapons in the game, and then Harpy Mage is the best mana generator. So I can't see a situation where you would even want to use anything else besides these four troops here. What's better than Harpy Mage for getting the team up quickly? Pretty much nothing that, that's a mystic. Um, what weapon is better at mana generating than the wand? Do you see the wand everywhere? Yes. Well, what's better than the wand? Pretty much nothing. Queen Beatrix doing true damage, extra turn, cleansing, easy to get, green and brown. It, 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 what's better than that? Not Kalika. I don't know. Nothing. So, yeah, I can't really see any other team that would be better. And uh, unless you're low level and don't have Queen Beatrix for some reason, which a low level person should be able to use this team as well because Queen Beatrix is really, really easy to get. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Sorry this video is so late. I had like a inspection thing today. We passed. We passed. Oh, yeah. With flying colors. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow morning at 930 a.m. for that live stream. We'll do everything else. Weekly preview. Peace out.